now reached a Sputnik moment in its weapons development. Back in August, China reportedly tested a nuclear-capable hypersonic missile. These missiles are being designed with one target in mind, America's aircraft carriers. The U.S. does not currently have the ability to even track this weapon, much less defeat it. It will give the Chinese the ability to conduct a nuclear strike. A new type of missile has entered the scene, and it's unlike anything we've seen before. China's YJ-21 is making headlines for its extreme speed, unpredictable flight, and advanced maneuvering. It's been called the fastest operational missile on Earth, traveling at Mach 10 with the ability to shift direction midair. In this video, we'll break down what the YJ-21 really is, how it works, and why it could redefine the future of naval operations and global power dynamics. China's YJ-21, also known as the Eagle Strike-21, is a hypersonic anti-ship ballistic missile designed for precision targeting in high-stakes maritime environments. Unlike traditional cruise missiles, which rely on predictable paths and subsonic speeds, the YJ-21 brings a game-changing combination of velocity, unpredictability, and agility. The YJ-21 is believed to be based on a modified version of China, SDF-21D or DF-17 ballistic missile technology, but it takes things a step further with terminal maneuverability and high-speed reentry capabilities. Reports estimate that the missile achieves terminal speeds of Mach 10, equivalent to roughly 7,672 miles per hour. This allows it to close a 1,000-kilometer distance in about 8 minutes or less. At such velocity, even advanced detection and tracking systems have a very narrow response window. Another unique feature is its flight profile. Instead of a simple parabolic arc, the YJ-21 follows a quasi-ballistic trajectory, allowing it to exit the atmosphere briefly before diving down onto its target. This makes the missile extremely difficult to track continuously. Moreover, its terminal phase includes sharp maneuvers designed to avoid missile defense systems. These sudden changes in trajectory challenge radar lock systems, leaving limited time for interception. In terms of deployment, the YJ-21 is primarily launched from China's Type 055 destroyers, among the most advanced surface warships in the world. These vessels are capable of launching a wide variety of vertical-launched weapons, and the YJ-21 fits neatly into this architecture. In addition to sea-based deployment, an air-launched variant, sometimes referred to as the KD-21, has also been spotted under the wings of the H-6K bomber, suggesting China's intention to expand this capability across different platforms. This versatility is crucial. A missile that can be fired from both sea and air assets ensures that China can operate it flexibly across vast maritime zones. In addition to reach and adaptability, the missile's targeting system appears to be highly refined likely integrating satellite data and radar tracking for mid-course adjustments. While China hasn't officially released its guidance system specifications, analysts believe it includes both inertial and terminal active radar homing. The YJ-1 stands out not just because it's fast or evasive, but because it represents a new generation of multi-domain precision strike systems. Its speed shortens reaction times, its maneuverability lowers the chances of interception, and its launch platforms extend operational reach. These attributes, taken together, raise the bar for naval defense systems around the world. The YJ-21 isn't just about moving fast, it's about moving smart. One of the defining features of this missile is its ability to execute evasive maneuvers in the final moments before impact, when most missiles would be locked into a rigid descent. This ability is what places it in the category of hypersonic glide vehicles, even though it shares characteristics with ballistic missiles. Unlike conventional missiles that follow a fixed trajectory, the YJ-21 can change its course while traveling at Mach 10. This is achieved through aerodynamic control surfaces and onboard flight computers that respond in real time to environmental changes and defensive threats. These final phase maneuvers allow the missile to bypass radar-guided interception systems, which rely on predicting a missile's path based on consistent motion. China has tested this capability multiple times. In early 2024, and again in April 2025, video footage and satellite imagery confirmed the deployment of YJ-21 missiles during large-scale drills near Taiwan. In these exercises, at hypersonic speeds, even the slightest shift in trajectory 
can dramatically alter a missile's path. For defensive systems, that presents a serious problem. Current U.S. Navy platforms like the Aegis Combat System and interceptors like the SM-6 are optimized for predictable threats. They rely on tracking data and response algorithms that don't yet account for high G maneuvers at Mach 10. This makes the YJ-21 one of the most challenging threats these systems have faced. Further complicating matters is the missile's radar cross-section. Hypersonic weapons tend to have a small signature due to their size and heat dispersion. Combined with advanced decoys or electronic countermeasures, this means detection can be delayed, sometimes until the final moments before impact. From a logistical standpoint, the missile's design enables rapid launch sequences, both from Type 055 destroyers and from mobile air platforms. This rapid deployability means fewer warning indicators are available to potential targets. In most cases, the time from launch to impact is shorter than the time it takes for a full threat assessment and engagement order to be executed. Even if interception becomes technically possible in the future, the cost-benefit ratio still favors the YJ-21. An interceptor missile like the SM-6 costs millions per launch. Attempting to intercept a maneuverable hypersonic missile might require multiple interceptors, increasing both the financial and operational burden on the defending force. By compressing the decision window and forcing defensive systems to overextend, the YJ-21 essentially functions as a stress test on modern naval defense architectures. It's not that current defenses are incapable, it's that they're not designed to react that fast. That pressure is where the real disruption happens. Beyond its technical performance, the YJ-21 signals a strategic shift in how nations think about naval reach and deterrence. For decades, Control over the oceans relied on visibility, power projection, and reaction time. Now, a missile that can strike silently at hypersonic speeds changes the dynamics of presence and influence in contested waters. At its core, the YJ-21 extends China's ability to shape behavior across critical maritime zones. With a 1,000 to 1,500 kilometers effective range, any ship operating within this perimeter must consider its exposure to hypersonic threats. This changes route planning, carrier deployments, and force posture across much of the Indo-Pacific. More importantly, the missile introduces ambiguity. Traditional deterrence is built on clear capabilities and predictable responses. The YJ-21, with its evasive trajectory and potential for multi-platform launch, introduces unpredictability into the equation. This makes decision-making more complex for opposing forces. Analysts argue that the YJ-21 fits perfectly into China's larger strategy of creating a multi-layered defense system, often referred to as anti-access slash area denial, A2 slash AD. Within this system, the YJ-21 plays a high-speed, high-impact role, essentially acting as a rapid response mechanism against any foreign presence near China's coast. Its influence isn't limited to the military domain. The YJ-21 also affects diplomacy and regional cooperation. Countries in Southeast Asia, for example, now have to balance their partnerships carefully. Participating in joint exercises or hosting forward operating bases takes on new meaning when hypersonic precision weapons are in play. Additionally, the cost effectiveness of the YJ-21 compared to high-value platforms like aircraft carriers shifts the economic logic of modern defense. In simple terms, Deploying a missile that costs tens of millions to neutralize a platform worth billions is a strategic advantage. This principle of asymmetric deterrence is at the heart of why this missile matters so much. China hasn't disclosed whether the YJ-21 is compatible with other naval assets beyond the Type 055 or the H-6K, but experts believe a modular design could allow future adaptations. That means scalability, mass production, broader deployment, and even export potential to aligned states.